quite understand boat ramp etiquette sometimes. We've had old mate number one who saw us launching, done his trailer around us and tried to sneak in. And we've had old mate number two that has pushed his boat off the trailer right next to us and almost gone straight in to our boat. And both those situations probably just needed about 30 seconds of patience from each guy. Would have been happy days for everyone, but I don't know. There is something about boating and etiquette around Melbourne that I will never cease to understand. But anyways, let's get cruising. Yep, look at that. You want to jump in, mate? Look at the covers on it. Go swim, mate. What do you reckon? We're just sitting here, setting up our gear, okay. and cruising past. This is the nice little blurring octopus. So, um, like a swim. <laughs> so um, if it's not the sharks that'll get you, it's the little, uh, little poisonous, dangerous thing. So, uh, okay, I'll kill you. might make good bait, mate. What do you reckon? Yeah, oh, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. good luck, Helen. You go and catch. You rig it up for me, and we'll go from there. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we'll do this rock paper scissors so you get it out of the water. <laughs> I'm the boat owner, mate. <laughs> I'm the boat owner. Okay, back here, good, mate. Uh, what are we doing? Look at this orange rod just dying to get it out. Mate, that is, that is, that scream off, it's going to scream off today. I know it is. The only mission today is we want to hear that scream, even if we don't catch a thing. I'm almost thinking, mate, we're not going to have any other rods than just that one. And that's it. No, I'm yep. joking. We'll use, it. we'll use a squid head. Yeah, let me just get a... Because I've got one rigged up already. I might as well just get a strip out there. That has got to be looking pretty delicious if you're a passing by shark of some sort. G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of Fishing Mad. And we're running off fumes this morning because we didn't get back to the caravan park last night till after midnight. By the time we set everything up, had the rods all prepped, get the cameras charged and ready, I reckon we've had about two hours sleep max. Today we're having a super early start and that's because the storms are gonna come rolling through a little bit later. So we have launched this morning, quarter past six at Coronella, just as that sun has come up. And as you can see around us, it is really strange eerie conditions today. It's very, very foggy. It's very overcast. I reckon that's gonna give us about three or four hours out here today. So we've come to a spot specifically, we're actually fishing in only three meters deep. It's a very shallow, muddy area. Area. This is great grounds for things like your elephant sharks and your gummy sharks. They come into these shallow waters. They're looking for your warmer water conditions. They also come in here to feed on all the crustaceans and everything. And this is absolutely prime area and prime time. So we're right at the end of February. This is where you're gonna have hopefully a really productive session on maybe some of the gummies in a pretty short session before those storms come rolling through. Anyway, guys, that is the game plan. We've just set our rods out now. We've got some baits. We'll be using things today like mackerel, yakas, squid. We've got some bonito. We've got a bit of everything. And one of the things that we're really hoping is uh, Darren there who's holding the camera for us. He's got one of his 1970 dial reels there. The thing sounds like an absolute dream. We sort of just got our fingers crossed today that we can tangle with something decent that is gonna make that thing scream. So that's probably number one mission other than hopefully getting on to maybe an elephant or a gummy to share with you guys. Anyway, hope you enjoy the episode. Just thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go and check out our members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member. Lots of goodies on there, guys. You've got your technical fishing workshops. You've got interactive maps. You've got our kite club, our tackle talks, our monthly giveaways with rods and reels, and now our new podcast as well. So please go and check that out. Really does help support everything Fishing Mad. Let's stop yapping and let's go and catch a few fish. Alright guys, 
guys, we're out here on wonderful Western Port again. We've come out here and it's right on slack water, which is high tide, which is why it's three metres deep. In about six hours time, there'll be no water here at all. And that's because we've got a big outgoing tide today, a 2.5 metre tide. So it'll probably be 0.4 metres deep here at low tide. So what that means is the tide's gonna run really, really fast. And because we're fishing so shallow and a big expanse of mud, that's actually really good for the fishing. That's why we came here today. So a really fast tide in the channel, we wouldn't be able to fish, but in a big shallow mud area, it should be good. So elephants, gummies, you know it. Once that tide starts moving, it should be on. But right now, at it's slack tide, we just sit back, try and stay awake and see how we go for half an hour and pretty soon a rod should start buckling we hope anyway. Mm. Oh, like oh, 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 like hey, hey, <laughs> oh. There you go, mate. <laughs> what did I just say? Yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Alright, well, I haven't got the fucking net ready, mate. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mate. Oh, shit. Good fish, mate. Yeah, I think so. Uh, How's that for timing? I know, huh? <laughs> did we even turn the camera off? Uh, no, I didn't, <laughs> What do we got? Oh, mate. Oh. I think it's a gummy. Yeah, it's a gummy. It's a, yeah, gummy. It's a nice gummy. Yeah, it's a nice gummy. Pretty gummy. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was a bit of mayhem. So, um, beautiful little gummy shark. So, obviously, we are hoping to catch some a little bit bigger than this today. But I love that when we're just setting up, where, you know, we're sort of talking to you guys running through. <laughs> the other one's going off. And, uh, we, uh, you know, it's, it's all mayhem and chaos and very quickly. And the, the funny thing is, we are fishing right on slack tide at the moment. And in slack tide, what happens is the boat, spins, the boat spins around. Um, yeah, what we're going to do, yeah, let, 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 let's, let, let's let this beautiful little gummy go out and go out here, guys. So see you, matey. Up here, guys. And I think one. this rod that's is on. on. Yes, we are. Oh, that's a bit of fish, isn't it? That's much better, mate. Yeah. I think so. Oh, yes. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a gummy. Uh, that's a nice gummy. Uh, just trying to do it before it wraps around yeah. like crazy. Well, yeah, there's no shortage of these little gummies now, and it's absolutely. I know the rod behind me is actually going off there, but if you look at the coloration on the spots there, it's really, really strange. So, obviously, these guys get lots of different weird and wonderful colors and stuff. So, um, but. Uh, we love catching these guys and... Oh, here we go, mate. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> the orange. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we've been waiting. This is the 1970 Daiwa. Remind me what the model is. 1977 Daiwa GS9. Ooh. Two ball bearings, two. Listen to that sound, it is just magnificent. Let me go around you, mate. There. Uh, do you want that rod out the way or you think you're okay? Just going over the top. Sorry, mate, I've just set some traps for you. Just to make life interesting. And if we see some big colour, I will. Oh, no, he's got to Oh, no, he's running back out, it's good. Here he comes, mate. It's a nice gummy. Oh, it's a nice gummy. That's a nice gummy. You want the net there, mate? Yeah, I'll, I'll get the net for you. Nice to. This is a bit of a memorable moment for probably a bit silly reasons, but I bought this very old 1977 Daiwa GS9 reel last year. I collect old and vintage reels, but this one's in perfect condition, which is why I paid so much for it. Uh, but it's one that I thought I'd actually use. So Alan and I have been talking about how we want to catch a decent fish or how I want to catch a decent fish on this reel for quite a while, and we haven't managed to do it until now. So finally, put a half decent gummy that's really screamed off and made mince meat of the, the drag on that reel. It sounds really great. I think we've got some footage of that. And uh, it's a great moment because I've wanted to catch something on this, so. It's just the uh, sound of that reel though, isn't it? Like the, just it just the sound of it is school, amazing. <laughs> old school, and uh, put it down. And show yeah, the hold gummy. the gummy up, it's a nice gummy. So it's a nice gummy, it's uh, oh, that's a nice not gummy, a monster actually. by any means, but it's a really healthy one. And, 
uh, just the power and the way they scream off. I mean, you can only imagine what a really, really big one would do. So let's hope one day we get to show you one of those. But look, that's, that's the best fish I've caught today and uh, it really is a, a great thing to catch one on that rod and reel. So still not keeping it, mate. It's too beautiful a fish to, uh, to kill, even though it probably bordering on legal, but this one's going to swim away and I'm going to enjoy watching hers, him or hers swim away right now. Just avoid the chaos. So we'll just... Yeah, you can do that. Throw it. Wait for the head to sort of start moving around a bit. Away she goes. Nice job, mate. <laughs> now, we're not expecting the fishing to fire up until we get some running water. The first bit of that run out tide is going to be awesome. The fact that we're catching some already on slack water, so that's two hits in literally five minutes on both my rods. So uh, stay tuned, folks. That's all I can yeah, say. I Sit back, day. get comfy, <laughs> and hopefully we've got some pretty cracking catches to show with you. We're not going to be. This is. That was just a very small piece of. I think that was mackerel. This is on the custom fishing mad rod. And what's good about this one is it's very light. Look at the rod bend. That one's going off, isn't it? it? Is. This feels a bit heavy. Yeah. It went on a big run to start off with. What if you've got this line or if that's another fish? Uh no, I reckon that's another. This is on too, mate, but I'm going to leave this one for the time being. Yeah. Because this one's better, I think. Oh, no, I think it's the same one. It's got the other oh, one. Oh, this is that better. Yeah, it's not a huge gummy. No, it's because it'll be fine. You go there, mate. So we've done a bit of a swapper here. Yeah. Is that a schoolie, is it? That's a schoolie. It's, it's a hard, decent one, so yeah. I'm just... Is that... No, this is just a little pup, just, I think, mate. Just a little one? Yeah. You can see in the water there, guys. So there's... There you go. It comes up there. That's okay. Look at these beautiful sharks, guys. So they're not big. They are lots and lots of fun. You can see there, you know, that's uh, what a beautiful, beautiful shark. Look at that. I got the best of both worlds. Gummy and the schoolies. So this is the shark without the teeth, and this is the one with the teeth. So, so uh, see you, buddy. You're going to go on your way. Way here goes. Darren's doing the release over there. Now these shallow areas are absolutely notorious for lots and lots of your small sharks or your pups. So we're talking things like your little school sharks, lots of your little gummies as we've been catching. But you'll also get moments where you know you get your big elephants and your big gummy sharks coming through. So you gotta kind of be prepared for anything. Just because we're catching lots of small ones at the moment, what we have done is we've just dropped the rod size. So I'm just using the Fishing Mad custom rod at the moment. This is just a very light three to seven kilo rod. Now what it does is, is when you're catching, you know, the smaller size sharks, at least you can make that enjoyable, make it a bit of fun. You can have a bit of fun playing them. And then all I've got on here is just, this is just one of the 5,000 compact size Stratics. So these are the new saltwater versions. The good thing about these is they've got a really strong drag capacity, but they're really, really light. So rather than fishing, you know, some of those small school sharks with an 8,000 size reel, you can have a bit of fun here and go really, really light. Now, in terms of the rigs, all that we are doing is, so this is what we typically call a Western Port rig. So this is where we've got our easy rig slider that can move up and down to a swivel. And then you've usually got about one meter length worth of fluorocarbon leader. And as you can see there, what we've done as well, because we are catching small ones, we've dropped the hook size down as well. So that is just a size 3.0 and quite a small piece of mackerel there that we just pin through the top of the tail. That's how you get a really good hook up, really good hook exposure, and you'll find you get lots and lots of catches. So the beauty about these rigs obviously is you can chop and change single weights pretty quickly. In these shallow, sheltered areas, you're going to find that tide's not going to be too crazy. So you probably don't need to go too, too heavy at times. On this other rod here, I've also got a Paternoster rig, which we find is also fishing really, really well. But it's sometimes it's just about keeping it light, having a bit of fun, and hopefully we get a couple of big ones that come through that, you know, test this gear a little bit, and that'd be a great problem to have. Let's get this bait back in the water, and let's catch a few more. All right. Finally, we got away from those little schoolies and I picked up this rod in my hand and then that reel started screaming. So, 
really hoping this is going to be a decent fish. It feels very decent. It certainly does. Took a long run there. I reckon it's a gummy, mate. I hope it's a gummy. It's I definitely think, fighting like a gummy. I think it's an elephant. It's not running sideways like elephants do. Now, the only thing is, this is a very light rod. It so, is. so you just don't know sometimes, but it does feel really nice. Now, I'm just going to move over this way because I don't want the lines to get all tangled up. And hopefully. Should be seeing some colour shortly. Coming here, well, there's. There it is. Oh, that's a nice gummy. Yeah, it is. Nice gummy. It's a nice gummy. I'll have to lose it, mate. That's alright, mate. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's a nice gummy, actually. Yeah. Oh, God, right. Let's see if we can do this. I'll grab that, mate. I'll grab that. That's a bit. Alrighty, well there you go. So that is definitely a better size gummy. So it's not the big meter plus gummy that we're looking for, but that is a respectable size one. And that was on the much lighter three to seven kilo rod there. And I was just picking it up. I saw a little tap on the rod tip. Sorry, mate, we'll get you back in the water shortly, I promise. And uh, just picked it up. I felt some little nibbles on the rod tip and then that reel started screaming. So gonna love these fish, the look of them. The beautiful coloration, you get these absolutely beautiful spots on them. Tremendous fish that both Darren and I have great respect for. And uh, we definitely do a lot of catch and release fishing on this show. So we are going to let this beautiful shark go on his way, mate. So if you want to come over here and uh, have a look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful shark? So see you, matey. He will just swim straight off. Away he goes. Absolutely awesome. Hopefully, there's an upgrade even on top of that because that's very, very cool. Oh. A couple of little head shakes there. On the Rapala weirdo rod. Oh, it's a pinky. That's a pinky. I thought it felt different. Oh, that's a nice fish, actually, mate. No, that's, that's bigger than a 30, mate. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a nice panty, mate. That's a good fish. There you go. There you go. It was a blue spotted pink. She's probably a keeper, but we're not going to keep that. Oh, there you go, in the uh, mud shallows here though, that's good. Yeah, that's a first, isn't it? It does make me think about putting a plastic out. I know, out. it does, I know. Mm. I, can see, I can see your mind ticking over. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, it's your lucky day. Mm. If I'm no, I won't say that. <laughs> Need that little inquiry on this one, I think. Shit. Yeah, I dropped him, I think. Oh no, he's there. He's there. Oh, he's not too bad actually. Is it? Yeah. Is it a or a gummy? Oh, it's a schoolie, it's a big. Oh, is it a. That's a gummy, I think. Yeah, it's a gummy. That's actually not a bad one. Look at that, there is another gummy, guys. So, we have caught countless of these gummies now. So, I mean, he's a tad bigger. He's not tiny, that's for sure. He's a little bit bigger than some of those schoolies we were getting. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. I think we'll put him this way just away from that sunlight. So there we go. And uh, let's get him on his way as well. So see you, buddy. Three, two. Well, that's a wrap, everyone. And thanks for watching. You know what, it was only a short session because those storms are gonna come rolling through. It's only a few hours out on the water, but you know what, it was a lot of fun, really productive, lots and lots of catches. You know what, we didn't catch any monsters out there, but we caught plenty of them. Some of those beautiful gummy sharks, lots of those little schoolies, and unfortunately we didn't tangle with any elephants. Now it was this time last year that we started catching plenty of them, but the water temperature are well below normal yearly averages. So you might find that the elephants will probably fire up over the coming weeks and months. 
Anyways, always fun to get out here. Always great to catch a couple of fish. Even if it was a short session, we just love coming out and catching a few to share with you. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to go and check out our members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member. Got our technical fishing workshops. We're fishing reports with GPS marks. Every time we go out in areas like this, we'll add more marks to the site just to share where we're catching our fish. We've got our uh, monthly giveaways, obviously, which has been lots of rods and reels. Got our kayak club. And guys, just by becoming a member, you're supporting everything that we do here on Fishing Mad. So it's greatly appreciated. Thanks for your company. Thanks for watching. And can't wait to see you out on the water next time. Cheers, everyone.